and uh, I wish to extend my thanks to Dr. Judy Wood for um, uh, taking time out of her schedule to for this interview. Um, and on behalf of our ragtag band called DC 911 Truth, I welcome you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, all right. I guess the first uh, question is: is um, you have um, you know come up with some ideas regarding space-based weapons and um, the demolition of the, demolition of the World Trade Center towers. And, and I was wondering um, if you could give like an overview of the proposed types of weapons that could be used for such a thing. Uh, we haven't really got into listing them yet, just energy weapons. Um, in what form? Um, I, don't, I, I don't think we even need to define it. Um. Right now, I don't know, uh, maybe, um, uh, it, has this been done in the laboratory? Has anything been done that would turn steel into dust? Mm-hmm. What? Uh, various uh, types of energy. What kind of, what, um, what kind of well, energy? Well, let's beam? see. You put something in your microwave oven and leave it on there extra long and see what mm -hmm. happens to it. Well, that's food, right? That's not or, so, or something else. Oh, uh, if you put metal hey, in the microwave, it I, reflects I, off of it. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't tried a, a fork in there. You're not supposed to, but I'm, so I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> else to do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You know of a slingshot, a BB gun, and, oh, pick something else, a uh, firecracker. That's all you know about. So you can only pick from those if you're going to describe what happened to the Twin Towers. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, uh... If I figure out what happened first, then how it happened is down the down the road. Okay, I mean, can, can we talk about your analysis on what happened? Would that, would, uh, okay, um, that's, that, that's really where we are right okay. now is what happened. Right. We don't know that's We don't great. know the serial number on the, the gizmo that was used or you know, what it's on the line it came off of. Or. No, but it didn't collapse in on its footprint either. True, why didn't it? Uh, where did it collapse? It uh, where did it collapse? It collapsed in a radius six times its footprint. Six times its footprint? Yes. Um... I think it actually, if you want to count its material, it's probably like, oh, a million times its footprint. <laughs> Maybe it went in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, where, where do you stop counting it? You and and where, where, where did this part of the building go? Um, from that picture, it looks like it, a lot of it goes down. Where's right? it, where is it going down? Well, do you, you don't see any, any, any parts of the building going down there? Well, I, I see that we have about one-third of the building left. Hmm. And, and two thirds of the building is missing, and hmm. there's not enough volume of this this uh, snowball, I call it, so, to, oh. to account for for two thirds of the building. So, what's going down? Is there is there any debris falling? I don't see anything uh, that's really falling. Much you don't yet. see any debris falling from the buildings. I, I see a round snowball. Or it's, I, I call this a snowball because it's, it's nice round and it's light colored. Okay, so there's no debris falling in that picture. I didn't say no debris. Oh, how much debris? What, what, it, I, I don't what, what debris is falling in that picture? I see some. No, I, 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 I don't have a magnifying glass, sorry, oh. there, but there's, I don't see any major material, and the building is still completely intact from this point down at that, point, at that moment, below the snowball. So you, you really don't see any falling debris there? Uh, are, are you asking these questions um, for for sincere, honest purposes? I really or am, I, and this this is sincere. I mean, I I see falling debris in that picture, and I'm wondering. I just I can't fathom why you don't see falling debris in that picture. It, it's hard for me okay, to understand. May, may, That's maybe, all because may, maybe I don't understand what 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 I'm exactly you're trying to say. I'm not saying there's absolutely no debris because somebody may have had some like pennies on their windowsill that fell out that they, they might be falling down. Because somebody may have had some like pennies on their windowsill that fell out that they, they might be falling down. But it's not a significant uh, volume of material. The building's pulverized, and you see when the when the story's over with at the end of the day, you don't have much building left anywhere. Buildings are gone. Buildings are gone. So, how much should we have? How much of what should we have? Of steel or of concrete? Um, I, th this, this, is, this is not productive. <laughs> it's not educational. 
the, the buildings collapsed in a larger area than their footprint. Would you agree with that statement or not? No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, no matter what the beam that is used in the situation uh, will involve, um, I guess the term you use is dustification of metal, or um, I guess another way you could get We're rid of it. We're trying to invent a new word. Is, is, yeah, <laughs> yeah, might as well, right? Uh, well, it, it poof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, or the vaporization of the metal in the towers, um, one or the other. Have, do you have, have you done any energy calculations at all to get a scale for what is involved for, for yeah, doing that? But, yeah, but we don't need to get distracted by those values. I guess the term you use is dustification. Poof, poof, so like pennies on the windowsill that fell out, then poof, pennies on the windowsill, poof.